Hey, Sagittarius, hope you slept good. Hope you woke up feeling good, right? Yes. Somebody just sent me a message. Good evening. Hmm. From a message on Facebook. And they sent me a photo. Okay. I don't even know who that is. But yes, I hope you had a good day. So let's see, give you a good injury and see what is on these people's mind or what's on your mind. What's the current energy, basically? Let me know if you want a reading with me. You don't want a commitment with this hair front in reverse. Or maybe you do. Let's switch that up. Because your feelings have changed. So we're going to read them upright today. It's going to tell me anyway. Description box. You can look on my community board if you want to schedule a reading. Yes. You're committing to your deepest dreams. If you don't want to commit me. Yeah, and you're doing a lot of things on your own. And you're doing it all on your own. You might feel a little overwhelmed. These are beautiful cards, so you're moving with that Taurus energy, whether you're right or wrong, by Xing out people so that you can get to your deepest dreams. Ten, you feel complete. Regardless, but you feeling overwhelmed. Some of y'all, y'all feeling overwhelmed when it comes to this commitment. Or you're not in the commitment. Let's keep going. Yeah, you rather sell the uh, common waters, but this also means your money's good and you flowing with the currency. You can take care of your business. You're looking for a peace of mind. You probably feel like Maybe this why this half point came in reverse. You might feel like this commitment doesn't give you peace. Or thinking about this person that is not what you want. It feels overwhelming. Nothing is stopping you from becoming this star energy. It could just be relaxing. You realizing your deepest dreams. Fourteen swords, delivery and salvation. New beginning with this ten. Yeah, you're using your intuition with that one. You want to create something. What situation in your life is bringing you emotional fulfillment? That's what you're thinking about. And you're putting up your boundaries and you're protecting it. For some of y'all, it could be this commitment in reverse is holding you back from what you want to do. Yeah, I was feeling that. I was like, maybe I've been doing this for a year. Maybe I should go on a week's vacation from doing reading so that this person can get out my energy as well. Some of y'all do not want this person in your energy. You can feel it. Yeah, hidden secrets. Are you keeping things hidden? Are you feel like when it comes to this water sign, Pisces energy, whatever they believe in, you putting up boundaries to it because you feel like they keeping it from you because you're going to lose respect for them or you don't agree with it. Yeah, they unbalanced. You probably feel like they broke as fuck and they know they broke. This person was showboating or trying to show off and act like they got it on social media in the way they really don't. They probably over there living in a fucking shack. Proud community, what's the deal? And that's the dangerous part of social media. These people get to front like they something they not. This person probably looked it nice and it wasn't even they clothes. They're posing around other people's cars and shit. You know, they went to one little event and they keep posting that same picture. It's like, what's the update? Are they doing the same shit? And you got, and you re you're wondering, excuse me, when they're going to do something with meaning to it. Let's talk about jobs. 
You don't want this person in your energy. You don't want to be in their energy. You know, this person could feel like because you, um, maybe you show some bills about relationships. Because you got to know sometimes if people can't get your negative energy, you damn sure not giving them your praise and your positive energy. Or you're not going to be um, going back and forth with them, you know, trying to prove yourself. They feel inadequate. They feel like they're being ignored. And they're nothing, there's nothing to look at. Yeah, they lost their job or something. Or they don't have a job. They got terminated. Or someone at your job about to get terminated. This could even be you. Let it resonate. All the uh, boss men have to do is consistently pop up on these people. You don't even have to make a report or pay attention. Just do what you want to do. And these people just going to start dropping off like flies. Yeah, dress to impress. If you did lose your job or someone is trying to get a job. Your yeah, internship, you probably need a better job with people that's more professional. Or people that know how to hire people. Some people just looking for a warm body to fill up the spot. They really not investigating these people. These people probably came to their interviews looking dirty and looking nasty. And they still hired them. Because they look dirty and nasty now. For some of y'all. It's like, how can you miss that? Even if they wasn't dirty and nasty. Yeah, what I say? Micromanagement. Somebody about to lose their job. Dress to impress. I feel like this, either way, you're going to get approved for a loan if you're not micromanaging on your own so you can start a business or organize a business. Yes, honey. Like and subscribe and let me know what's on your mind. Yeah, you're going to be shopping. While somebody getting terminated or somebody getting micromanaged, somebody's watching. You might feel like nobody's paying attention, but they are. And they're shopping. To me, this don't have to be really shopping. They're looking around, shopping around to see who's really not doing their job. Or this will be the action. So while you shopping and having a good time, somebody losing their job. Yes, dress to impress. You're going to get a loan for something, but don't forget about the insurance. So you might have to save a little longer. Yeah, or this could be you. Someone could also be trying to get a job just to impress so they can get money up to get that check. And this will be their insurance when they come towards you. But you can also have someone, this could be you to me, energy. You're in it, you're new at it, or you need more training, um, internship. It's new for you to start organizing this business. Interpreter. If I'm saying that word right. Yes, honey, honey. Payday. So you got payday, which gonna ensure you that you're going to be shopping. <laughs> Is that all you worried about? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Because some of the things you shop for, you might need. Like a new house, a new car, a new gun, jewelry. Whatever you like is coming to you. It's like when you start believing in God or you are a chosen one, you get back everything you was cheated out of when you was a child. You see, I got my big Chucky doll. I always wanted to check the dog. Get some cosmic insight. So if you don't see me for a couple of days, and I'm, I don't know, I always say that and never do. I go along for three days, and that's just because I'm busy. But I just feel like I need to take a break. But don't think I won't do any readings for you. 
Those are fun for me there. This like this is like a hobby for me. But it is also a business. Yeah, it's no. Now it's not the right time. For these people to be fucking off at work. It's not the right time for you to be going on dates. It's not a, a right time for these people to be playing around. And that's why you probably shouldn't be going on a date. Yeah, someone's spying on you on your social media. I just got a message from someone. I, I don't even know their name. I don't even think I've seen that person liking on my pictures. Like, what the hell? And they sent me a picture. Make me want to share it with you, but I'm not going to go there. I usually don't like the person that's playing with me like that anyway. That's why it doesn't excite me. Somebody confused about their sexuality or someone want to have, want to have sex in his life. Get your shit together. This is not the right time for you. Are these people confused about their sexuality? Whoever wants to take you on a date, this came in reverse. They'll be back. Or whoever was confused about their sexuality, they won't be back. Yeah, I feel like you need a break from all of this. Especially if you're an energy reader. Yeah, there will be no communication. But if we reading them upright, <clears throat> excuse me, you have someone spying on you and reviewing everything and they want to communicate. But they probably have a problem with their sexuality. Probably be narcissistic. Woo, we doggy. I'm not going to play too. You want to energy read with me? <laughs> That's confirmation. Yeah, y'all not emotionally distanced. You don't probably live far from this person. So these people are watching you on the regular. They checking your social media on the regular. They're at your job when you see them, and they're not emotionally distant from you. They they're seeing you on the regular. Yes, you're not gonna let them move, or you're not changing his residence anytime soon. And so, whatever this narcissist is going through that's not emotionally distant from you, they're not going anywhere. They're going to have to stay where they at and deal with the bullshit that they're going through. That's why they're not communicating with you, but they're spying on you. But they want to. You're not fit to captivate nobody. Let's roast their ass. Yeah, fashion witch. Someone that has no more than characters, but they could dress well. Look at we talk about these people trying to look good on social media, but that doesn't mean shit. What did I say? Love and gaslight. They hoping that you don't see that they're not about nothing. They hoping that you see whatever they dress or whatever they fashion, that it's going to uh, blind you to them not having shit or the way they're coming at you. They're not liking or anything on your pictures or they're liking on your pictures a little too much and they don't know you. Or that they just into you because they like what they see. They, you might be flashy to them or you might be stable to them. That's why you're not leaving your house or you're not changing your residence. You've been having it going on for a while. You've been Cadillacing. You've been chilling. Yes, honey. But I feel like don't let these people get you in this energy. These people are on you. 
you might not think that they're watching you as much as they do. Or you know that they need to get a life. But I say somebody needs to grow up. You got a group of people that's watching you that need to grow up, that think that dressing nice and looking good, and they don't have nothing going for themselves. They think they can love and gaslight you. These people have no empathy, and you're going to notice that. Yeah, what did I say? Hidden secrets in reverse. You know they secrets. You know they not shit in these streets. Or these could be a bunch of dope dealers by your house that's watching you. Or a bunch of people that like to chill around and drink beers or play domino the course all fucking day. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but these people do it all the time. Got people watching you in the community, at the job, huh? You an impact. That's why this came in reverse. But don't let them put you in this energy. You got someone, like I said, whether you like them, whether you argue with them, that's them getting your energy. They feel, I must be important because they're arguing with me. I must be important because they like me. No, you an empath. You don't care to be nobody's side uh, kick. No sideshow Bob shit. And this is the only way these people would like you is if you agree with everything they want you to agree with. But they won't be agree agreeing with you. Matter of fact, they're going to downsize the way you feel. They're going to downsize uh, anything you say. Like you could think someone's ugly, but they ain't going to agree with it until they feel like or until they get into it with that person. Then it matters then when they say it. You're more observant, hidden secrets, than people think you are. You're not an energy vampire. That's why people watching you, boo. They have no morals or characters. They probably think you're like them. Are you dealing with energy vampires? People that can't agree with people when, especially if they're happy. People that envy you if you're just happy for other people. Because they can't have those emotions and they know it. They want you to bitch and complain and be on the same dumb negative shit they are. But you can't stand up too much for yourself. Because you can't show too much power. You can't show that you're even equal to them. They constantly have to feel like they're the only ones that's superior. They might tell you they're working on some things and they're trying to get on your level or act like they're on your level. And then you're going to see them turn around and say something negative. About why they can't do it. Or what's holding them back from doing it. These people feel like you somebody and they want your praise. Or they want to say, hey, I know this person. Me and this person cool. But the energy have to be exchanged. Yeah, we cool. Yeah, I can show you what I got going on. But what makes me want to fuck with you? I'll sit here and be quiet and not say shit. And that's probably how you've been feeling. What I say, this came in reverse. It's best just not to say shit and do you. Yeah, these people second and third guessing about you, proud community. What the fuck is up in these streets? That's love and gaslighting you. Don't even, don't even have the skills or they're not even capable of understanding you because they have no empathy. Yeah, they jealous. Damn, you got a lot of people jealous of you. You must be doing a good fucking job. Congratulations. I give a fuck if they don't. Sincerely. We want to be on the winning team, not the losing. Let's do a little church. Put this video not that long. I used to pre-pull and do all this. I need to go back to that. But sometimes I'll be wanting to double up.
This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner of your of your your seeking. So this person probably not jealous of you, but they jealous of what you going through and how you living and uh, you're doing it without them. <laughs> True love. This is the romance of your life. So Sagittarius, this is probably the first person or someone that you really like that you probably never had a good fit of. Uh, these deep feelings for, or maybe they look good and the sex was good and the the way they act. Maybe y'all, you know, like your twin flame or your soulmate is usually someone that's the boy or boy, the male or female version of who you are. So y'all could be y'all could be dealing with someone that when you get to know this person even more, y'all gonna realize that y'all have a lot of shit in common. And what's scary is because y'all might not even know y'all have a lot of shit in common. Like, I know damn well my twin flame soulmate, whatever the fuck he is. I know that when I went on his Facebook, I did not know he was into working out and I'm into working out and my dad is into working out. I didn't know that he was um into pit bulls and shit and dogs. I didn't know a lot of things about him. I didn't know that we both thought we was like a pimp, but I thought I was like a pimp just because of my swag. He think he a pimp because he pimping uh, low, you know, people that need therapy. You know, that's not really a pimp to me. That's just somebody that's taking advantage of people. But either way, we had this swag, this mentality. I didn't know we was in probably into the same kind of cars. It was scary. Calling your soulmate. I'm not going to play with y'all. And I feel like you taking a break from readers. Are you taking a break and just listening to other things and going back to what made you happy before? It's going to give that energy time to relax. It's tense. That's what I'm feeling. It's getting worse. Remember this person wants you sexually too. For some of y'all, y'all hoping that they get over it and go away. But if this person really like you, past life relationship, I'm not going to play. You have known each other before. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Religion factors came in reverse. Your love life is influenced. So at first, maybe your religion factors was unknown to this person. But I don't think they are. Anymore. Who wouldn't want someone with morals and characters so they know they're not cheating on them? Or mistreating their kids? Or their animal, or they pet when they're not around, or going to sleep with their friends or their siblings, or not going to take their side and have some kind of empathy, not going to treat them like they have to be the only one that's in power. They have to be the only one feeling superior. This came in reverse. Healing family issues. You have to give me your parents. That came in reverse. Maybe y'all both have to give me y'all parents. You got to sometimes be happy you have stupid parents. Like, I don't have nothing against my mom or my dad or my siblings. I have nothing against them. They're inadequate now. If I was mad at them, then that I would still have issues. If I was happy about someone mistreating me, then I would have issues. <laughs> They're inadequate now. It doesn't matter if I like them or I don't. I don't think about it. I'm moving on. I have moved on. Pay attention to the red flags. That came in reverse. But you need to, if we're not reading these in reverse, then you need to pay attention to people that have not healed from their family issues. Even the son of a bitches. Even, even the daughter of bitches. They act like they grew up in a perfect family. 
and get the fuck out of here. Even rich kids go through shit. I know they had this gay rapper. I don't want to say his name, but he was like, he don't want his son to be gay. And uh, they was like, is that part of yourself that you don't like about yourself if you don't want a gay son? He said, no, I don't want my son to get bullied. That's bullshit. Brother, you gay or straight, you get bullied. He just probably want to be the only gay, look good looking one. And then if, maybe if he have a son, he might come out better. Because you're supposed to teach your kids how to live a better life than you did, right? You're supposed to teach your kids everything you know. He don't want nobody else to shine. Might come out looking like him better or know how to do it better. Yeah, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I told you. You need to disconnect. Let my people go. Looking ass. Let all this go. Focus more on what makes you happy. So you can get out there. Go to places with value. So you can at least have an adult, valuable conversation. Or just sit there. <laughs> if, you know, if you don't know these people are narcissists or not, just sit there. And they would love probably for you to go... Uh-huh. Oh, are you serious? Did they really? I realized that's why people used to like me. Because I knew how to relate to their feelings. So I used to be like, uh-huh. Did they really? And I still do. But I didn't know that. I wasn't going to get that back. I wasn't going to get them relating to my feelings. I wasn't going to get them trying to even uh, understand my feelings. Because they don't have empathy. And it's okay. Borderline retards. Can't do shit with that. I hope you're taking your medicine. And that doesn't mean you're borderline retard because I met a lot of people that's taking medicine and they're not narcissistic. But when they're not taking their medicine, they are. Are they like an empath that's being too nice? they not uh, balanced. Enablers. Agreeing with all the shit. You are too nice. <laughs> I don't deserve your kindness. You got damn right. These people do not deserve your kindness. You need to disconnect. I don't want to be who I am. Who I used to be. You deserve better. Yeah, this person want to change for you. I guess I don't want to be who I used to be. You trigger me. Yes, you know why you trigger this person? And I was thinking about that too. You trigger this person because whenever you show that I have my own opinion, whenever you show I have my own goals, whenever you show that you like what you like, you like this food to eat, this is what you like to do, you're triggering them because you're not copying them. You're showing that I am my own person. Whenever you show that you don't need them to have fun, whenever you show you don't need co-workers to get along with you, you just came here to work, boo. There's things bigger than you outside this bullshit. That I'm worried about, that I enjoy going home to, going to, period, or keeping up with. You trigger people with their abandonment. You remind them that they got abandoned by their mother, their fathers, or you're there in their face and you don't give a shit. That's neglect. When you abandon a motherfucker right there in their face. When you show that I don't want to dress like everybody else. I don't want to wear my hair like everybody else. I don't want to talk like everybody else. I don't want to listen to the same music. And Sagittarius, we good for doing that. Even if we're in the crowd, we like to do our own thing. And we good also at letting other people be themselves. But people not good at that. That triggers them. 
That's why you're triggering this person. Because they don't know what they're going to do to trap you, to keep you vulnerable, so they can feel good about the shit they do. They know if they cheat on you, talk stupid to you, <laughs> even raise their voice and put their hand up to you, mistreat your kid or your pet, or drive your car too motherfucking rough. Don't put no food or share the responsibility in the house. Then they could go. Because you could do bad on your own and you could do good on your motherfucking own. I realize people help me more when I'm single, not when I have a bunch of people in my life that can't do shit for me. Where the fuck are your friends that you was partying and drinking with, huh? Where are those people that you felt was, where is your mama and your dad and them that you felt was more important than me, the one that was helping you? Not just uh, financially, but mentally. Where they at? Go ask them to help you. You get more help when you're trying to do shit on your own. Sincere help. And remember, we have to keep in mind that we work for God, so God will bring you people to help you that ain't shit. <laughs> You ain't obligated to nobody. Her night, her night. On Monday, it says, in God we trust. That means the more we believe in God, we're going to get abundance. And he going to bring people in, friend. I'm obsessed with you. Well, why wouldn't you be? I'm too nice. And you're not that fucking nice. It just takes a lot. Sagittarius is like that. That fire of like lava in the volcano. It takes a lot to erupt. And that's the most beautiful part of you. You give people a chance. And now it's now their time is up. Run your energy out. And what else can you do with a motherfucker? I'm feeling lonely. Of course you're feeling lonely. You got all these people around you and nobody understand you. You have all these people around you and they wouldn't go out their way for you. You got all these people around you and you don't want them to see you doing bad. <laughs> you can't even ask these people or tell these people you need help. I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah. You trigger me. That's what that fell under. Let's pull three more. So I can go eat and I need to relax. I do a I have a life routine thing. I don't mean I don't mind breaking out of it. So it's kinda like y'all probably have to deal with y'all kids, get the R change, get your inspection stickers, take care of your bills, talk to customer service. So when you do take time out to get to know this person, they should know that they were special when you did. When you let them come over late night hype and leave because the kids were asleep, that shit did mean something. They were lucky to even be around your family or to creep around with you if they did. You was making time for them. When they want to talk on the phone all goddamn day, trying to love bomb you. It's dark without you, of course, boo. And it's not just going to be with this person. It's going to be with them co-workers you try to understand. Now they ain't got no understanding around them. You got to also know a lot of people are not used to being respected and included. You probably was sitting around some people and want to know sincerely their opinion about something. Want to treat them like they matter. And then they try to treat you or make you the ass of their jokes or try to downplay your feelings. They got the wrong one fucking with the collective. That's the energy you need to get in. You need to get into the collective energy. You need to learn what you like. Think about what you wanted to be when you was a little girl or boy. That's sincerely who you are. And if you don't want to go back to those things, you need to find something that's similar to it. See what makes you happy. Find out what's your goals, not your goals, but your hobbies. It's, it doesn't have, it's not going to be something expensive. 
If you're getting your hair and nails done, if you're used to getting that beard trim and getting your nice tennis shoes or your boots or whatever it is that you like, your collectibles, those cars or whatever it is, going out to eat, that's part of your life. That's the status you're on. But I'm talking about what do you do when you go and you work those 12-hour shifts? I've heard some people say they work in doubles. They went to work on time or they made it to work every day, <laughs> whatever you did. You paid the bills. You good with the kids. You taking care of your business. You took your meds. When do, when do you treat yourself to go get that ice cream with sprinkles on it? When do you treat yourself to go get that food you've never tasted? Something simple. Go get a fruit salad or get something. Uh, um... You know what, them, them uh, trucks that be having all exotic foods on them? What do you treat yourself to? I don't give a fuck if it's a new robe or a nightgown or some socks, you know, that may got uh, the polo bear on them. I was thinking about ordering a bunch of them on Amazon. But the point is, um, that cute hat that that's the same as the car you drive. It's just a, a cute keychain. What What do you do to treat yourself? And do it on the regular. Every time you get paid, it will not hurt you to be $20. To me, it should be like less than $20. Depending on what you like. It could be a shirt that's like $34. But treat yourself. It will not hurt you to be short on a bill or learn how to be, um, learn how to buy what you need. You know, you might have to uh, pay extra on your rent because you want to treat yourself that way. Fuck it. Every money's not going anywhere, is what I'm trying to say. It's never gonna stop. It's enough for everybody. You can always get money. Let's do energy read if you want me to go in more detail. I can't let go of you. People be up there worried about money and money just keep flowing. Bills never gonna stop. Don't consume your life around paying bills or paying other motherfucking bills. Sit back and walk, get you a nice bottle of wine or your uh, cardiac, cardi yeah, cardiac, whatever, whiskey, yeah, drama. Yeah, to me, you need to let go because this is drama. I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, you trigger me. I have had, never had someone that's independent like you. I've had... Never had someone that ha that like to do their own thing and not give a fuck about what other people think. I have never had someone actually talk to me and listen and make me feel like I'm adequate, like I'm somebody, or that you're worth listening to. Have never had someone make me feel like I'm important. Have never had someone ask me what's my deepest dreams. Have never had someone ask me what's my hobbies or what I want to be when I was little. Or how it felt when I went to prison or jail. Or how it feels to be a single mom or a father. I understand how I feel to take the load off my back. It's little. It's not even little things. People be around people that's never asked them about their childhood and what they've been through. And they ask them, but they don't get it. They just want to agree, hey, I've been through that too. Let's have a pity party. Let's get drunk. Let's drink our dreams away for the holiday. Let's get drunk because somebody died. Instead of learning or appreciating that person. Pay attention when people die. People be like, oh, they used to do this with me. She used to always cook this every week for me. They never just said she was, he, she or he was a nice person. I watched this person put in the work to take care of their family. Some people are not like that if they can't show empathy. All they can show is what this person that passed away is what they did for them. And how they made them happy. And this goes on with ex-relationships. People out there bragging on how you was there for them and how you were there for their kids. But they can't brag about how you're just a good person for even doing the shit, giving you your praise. 
Not what you did for them. You're not a fucking maid, uh, butler. Yeah, you had passion. But this at the top of this car, and you love it. The action. The tool you have. And you made you move with ambition. Action. Remember, speaks a lot of words. But I said, I'm not very good at being all emotional. I'm like either. That's why I said the chairs is a masculine energy and you have to balance it. You know, it's beautiful to hear people talk about their problem. But if we ain't going to do shit about it, shut the fuck up. I don't mind being a little therapy, but a therapist get paid way more than me. <laughs> I'm here to give advice. If you're not going to follow it, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you love. Scorpio love. Huh? Yeah, Scorpio love. That, that moon energy. That motherly. That understanding. It don't matter if you were man. You understand. Childhood. Memories. Past influence. Support. Sympathy, creativity, playfulness, youthfulness. That's what's popping out to me. You move with innocence. Why they want to challenge tradition. And I feel like this is for both y'all because this popped out again, friend. Y'all both challenging tradition when you're getting deep and understanding people. And this person was challenging tradition by not giving a shit. And acting like they was a pimp or a player. So I tell you, you probably brought swag to the party. Yeah, abundance. That's what you was passionate about. Remember? Someone who considers to be what, what, uh, uh consider, uh, sorry, y'all. They got all these designs and shit going on. Put my glasses on. Fuck, I really need to. Someone concerned with the welfare of others. Fuck, did I tell you? You have good judgment with this Virgo. And you will rebel with that energy. You use your third eye. You will rebel. That's what that symbol means. Yeah, this Scorpio that was staying in their childhood memories, still talking from mother, talking to motherfuckers from high school, still talking to old baby mamas and baby daddies, trying to keep a connection or playing around with them, still bullshitting. And they both didn't have a good relationship or could bring anything to the table, whether they needed a cash car when income tax fucking came or they could uh, help each other food. It was all about just bullshitting and playing around. Even if it was, they had some kind of weakness, frustration going on, indecisive. They don't know if they like these motherfuckers or need to get away. It's not that everybody have to benefit you, but they got to bring something to the motherfucking table. I used to tell people, if I didn't bring shit to the table, I wouldn't fuck with me. <laughs> got the energy. They ready to move. They was ready to, um, they want to accept help and healing. Roles have reversed. When you want to help them, they didn't want to give it to you. Or when you needed companionship or something, they didn't want to give it to you. Now they want it. But you off. And that's what this is past NG. But this is what it has led up to. If you've been keeping up with me. Abundance again. You walked away. Letting go. You started traveling. Looking for the truth. With this I can energy. Or this is what this water sign was do and they beliefs with that Pisces or that could be you. So you can have someone. Yeah, this um if it ain't a Scorpio, it's a Taurus energy. They was moving around doing uh having sexual adventures, probably going out of town and doing all kind of shit on dating apps. Come on, you was over there standing your motherfucking ground. Protective, defensive, holding your own. Mm -hmm. And that I can energy, that yellow twice. 
You ended the motherfucking conflicts. You put your ducks in a row. You were struggling to reach an agreement. You put the end to it. That's why I said, it's time to pull your energy away. You put the end to the bullshit at work. Just don't say shit. Just agree with the dumb shit if you have to. You have a beautiful home to go to. And I hope that really helped you. Let me know if it didn't. I'm here for you.